Benjamin Harrison was the 23rd President of America and the grandson of the 9th President, William Henry Harrison. His presidency saw the first step towards making sure that trade was not limited by the existence of monopolies. He was born on August 20, 1833, in North Bend, Ohio, and died on March 13, 1901, in Indianapolis, Indiana. He was named after his uncle, Dr. Benjamin Harrison, and his great-grandfather, Benjamin Harrison, who was one of the men who signed the Declaration of Independence. The career of Benjamin Harrison included the roles of lawyer, politician, and statesman. He had a good education, attending Farmers College and then Miami University. After he graduated, he studied law. In 1862, he joined the military to fight in the Civil War. He became the 23rd President of America in 1889 and served for four years until 1893. Benjamin Harrison married his first wife, Caroline Lavinia Scott, on October 20, 1853. His second wife was Mary Scott Lord Dimmick, who was a widow nearly 30 years his junior. He married Mary on April 6, 1896. They had three children, whose names were Russell Benjamin, Mary Scott, and Elizabeth. Benjamin Harrison belonged to the Republican political party. He was 55 years old when he was inaugurated as the 23rd president. Inauguration is a president's swearing-in ceremony. Levi P. Morton stood as the vice president. He was the first president to use electricity in the White House, but his family often refused to touch the light switches after Benjamin received an electrical shock. Benjamin Harrison was a small, stocky figure, standing at 5 feet 6 inches, had light brown hair, blue eyes, and a fair complexion. He also wore a full beard. He was referred to as the human iceberg because he was reserved, cold, and aloof. He was known by the nickname of Kid Gloves Harrison as he wore kid gloves to protect his hands from skin infections. Benjamin Harrison appointed the former slave, Frederick Douglass, as minister to Haiti. Frederick Douglass was the first African American to hold high office in the United States government. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. Benjamin Harrison was instrumental in the first Pan-American Conference, which aimed to improve trade and establish closer ties between the United States and Latin America. The Sherman Antitrust Act was the source of all American anti-monopoly laws. The Sherman Silver Purchase Act, in conjunction with the McKinley Tariff, enabled the government to purchase millions of ounces of silver, with issues of paper currency, in order to boost the economy. Benjamin Harrison died a quiet and painless death by pneumonia on March 13, 1901, in Indianapolis, Indiana. His body lay in state in the rotunda of the state capitol. He was buried in Crown Hill Cemetery, Indianapolis. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Benjamin Harrison, the 23rd U.S. President. His presidency saw the first step towards making sure that trade was not limited by the existence of monopolies. The next U.S. President was Grover Cleveland.